We wanted to see how far we could push Trump's loyal supporters. <laughs> so we decided to assemble a group of them for an unfiltered view of how they connect with Trump's vision for America. We brought these actual Trump supporters to this actual focus group research center to watch these actual fake Trump campaign ads. So maybe real quickly, um, if everyone could just go around, you could tell me your name, and if there's anything you want to share about, you know, your thoughts on the, the upcoming election, I'd be happy to hear that too. Yeah, my name is Brian Gogan. I live here in Strontsville, Ohio. I've known, I've liked Trump personally. I, not personally, but I just know, I just like him. And it's time that we have a change, and I think he's the one who could bring that about. Okay. Like, I, I like everything what he says. I mean, I give him a tip. I like every, everything he, he does, everybody, what we want to hear, you know? Uh-huh. He's real. He speaks what's on his mind, and he's not a politician. I know sometimes he may need a filter a little bit, but for the most part, he's like a good guy, and he's not in politics. That's what else I like. I like Trump because I think he has a plan, and I like that, so... Sounds good. Thanks for being here. So what we're going to do here and spend most of the time is I'm going to show you some concepts for some campaign ads, okay? And what we're intending to do is to get your thoughts and feedback so that we know, is it a good idea? Is it something that we can make better? Is there a way that, that you know, we can have the people that really care tell us what they think, okay? So I'm going to go up and uh, play the first one here. Okay, look, I believe the transgenders deserve to use the bathroom they feel comfortable in. But sometimes that means men transgenders are going into women's bathrooms. Women deserve to be comfortable too. That's why, as your president, I will make guns available in every lady's room in America. And these will be easily available in dispensers next to the other dispensers that you see in the ladies' room. The guns will be chained to the wall so they can't be used outside the bathroom. So the women can do whatever they do with the knowledge that the playing field is even. Problem solved. It's disgusting, but it's solved. We're done with this. Let's move on. All right, so that was the first one. So tell me what your initial reaction is. What do you think? I, I, I personally think that if you're, if you're a man, you go to men's rooms, restrooms. If you're a woman, go to women's restrooms. And it all started, I, we never had this issue before. And, you know, I'm thinking to start with Caitlyn Jenner, you know. It's like, God, it's like, then Obama, it's like, oh. I mean, what happens to decency? In it? What about you, Donna? Are there places where you can imagine this There's making sense? Anywhere. Anywhere? Anywhere nowadays. Would you even have enough time to, like, get one out of those vending machines? To sure. So what about the details on that? How would that work? How would you imagine that, that, that they could make something like that work? I mean, if there's a, you know, break the glass. Right. Oh, I know, but that might be a little better, but... Or, or even, like, a baseball bat or yeah, something. Yeah, some of baseball. <laughs> so something. Oh, if, so if it wasn't a gun, having yeah. a bat or something yeah. else. Maybe you defend yourself in there. Right. Good, um, good comments on that first one. <laughs> so we're going to do the same thing. I'm a big fan of women, and they're big fans of me. But some want to vote for Crooked Hillary just because she's a woman. But is she? She says she's a girl. And I want to take her at her word. But have we seen her whatever? I mean, a lot of people look at her photos and have questions. I mean, why doesn't she just say, I'm not a man? What's so wrong with saying, I'm not a man? Look, I'm okay with a female president and blood everywhere and all of that. But let's be honest with this. I mean, basically, we already had a female president, Barack Obama. And that's probably why he won't release the birth certificate. I mean, it's not a big deal if Obama is a woman and Hillary is a man. But we should know. So, tell me what you think about that. I mean, that's... that's... Trump counterpunching, right? I like it. You know, like, it's <laughs> kind of right on. <laughs> yeah. I think too, the public you... would enjoy it. I'd rather hear yeah. stuff like that than, you know, little foo-foo taglines that Sound don't make sense. Okay. Maybe it hits him and he's going to hit back. Yeah. yeah, correct. Okay, good. Well, let's look at, uh, let's look at another one here. So. Here's another great idea you're gonna love. The wall is gonna take a year or so to build, so while we're waiting for it, let's build an invisible electric fence to keep any illegals out starting now. They try and cross and zap, 
Now, I know what you're thinking. How will we get all 150 million Mexicans to wear shock collars? Easy. The collars will have the only thing they love more than crime, bling, Trump quality, and the Mexicans will pay for them. That's right. Before the wall, we build the fence. It's going to be so gorgeous, so beautiful, so invisible, it'll make your head spin. So tell me about that. So what's going on there? I like the fence, uh -huh. but seriously, getting collars on all those people yeah, is... Yeah. To find out what it is, they'll somehow get a cut off and sell the bling, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, do you need a collar with the fence? Yeah. You have to have something on for the invisible fence to work. Or you to, can just walk to, across it. To zap, right? Mm -hmm. Right. It wasn't a collar then. Something what else. do we? What, what else could that be? Um, is this this is perfect because we're looking for these ideas to well, say how do we like a how bracelet do we take or this? You put, a, you put a metal bracelet or an ankle bracelet. Uh, yeah. So not a collar, but maybe something that goes in your wallet or your purse right. or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On that, okay. Or vaccine. Or vaccine. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> how would that work? Um, they want to know. They think they were getting uh, vaccinated for something. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, you know, that's so like a chip in them. Yeah. You guys are doing great. This is great feedback. So we're going to tee up the next one here. We have to stop illegal immigration. We have to stop the massive crime. We're going to build a beautiful wall, and it will keep Mexicans from coming into this country and taking our jobs. But what about all the illegals Obama already welcomed in on a red carpet? Now, here's my newest plan. We will plant porta parties near places where Mexicans congregate. Home depots, migrant farms that lock from the outside. And once all porta potties are filled and locked, they're lifted by crane and put on a flatbed truck and driven across the Mexican border. We're going to send back so many illegal Mexicans this way, it'll make your head spin. So what about that plan, the details of that? I mean, is that something that, could they actually execute that and make that happen? It work with that. So they kind of lure them in. Yeah, actually, okay. that's a starting point right there. Even though it is comical, it is something that could be worked with. Okay. Well, they say Mexicans congregate outside of there, but, you know, what if you're going to Home Depot, one of us, with our family, and the kid needs to use the porta potty, is it going to automatically lock? Uh, are we sure they're getting enough How oxygen in there? <laughs> The neighborhoods got more Mexicans than others, so I mean, you won't put them in Pepper Pike. You may put them somewhere near okay. Clark Clark neighborhood, where they're mostly where they all live. So, so what, what, what neighborhood? Clark, Clark Avenue is a bad neighborhood. Okay. I mean, but this is kind of how Trump works, right? He comes up with these crazy ideas and then just sort of says, throws it out there and lets people make it, they let him figure it out or something, right? Yeah, he's surrounding himself with advisors intelligent people and so he's just throwing himself. these out there and he's going to surround himself with economic advisors and military brains right. and intelligent people just like well it's crazy about inventing the light bulb it's crazy about having an iphone that you could do everything in your life that you could possibly right. want to do you're nuts it's never going to happen mm -hmm. all this stuff yeah. it is kind of a visionary guy it's not is he a visionary like the guys that made the light bulb or the iphone and things it has like to that. start I mean, somewhere okay this next one, it's a variation on that last ad. We love Mexican housekeepers. The vast majority of them clean our homes, comfort our elderly, and raise our children. But the illegals, I'm sorry, they gotta go. Here's the plan. We will strategically place houses that need cleaning in cities Mexicans work in. We hire these illegal housekeepers, and while they're busy cleaning, the house is locked from the outside. That's where we pick up the houses by crane and transport them by truck back to Mexico. It's a win-win. We get rid of the illegals, but we sell them the houses so they have a place to live. Believe me, we're gonna make so many pesos, you're gonna get tired of pesos. <laughs> Donna, tell me you like that. Why, yes. What do you like about that idea? That's awesome. Put them in a house, board it up, and ship it out. <laughs> so like tell me about that. How, would, how is that going to work? Caging them in, shipping them out. <laughs> I think I like the house <laughs> one better. Well, so how is that one different than the porta potties one? You put more people in the house. More people in the house? It's a house. It's a house. It's not a porta potty. Right. They're still they're going to get something out of it. 
Okay. It's more of an incentive yeah. to stay there now. So it's a better deal for the, yes. the yes. legals because they get a house out of it versus just getting a porta potty out of it. Right. You send them back that way, and, you know, what's going to stop them from climbing the wall or digging under it? The first way they get a house out of it. Maybe so it's incentive stay. to stay right. on that. Yeah. Oh, I never yeah. thought of that. I mean, they're bold, right? I mean, they're like yeah. really. To get you know, to the point. As your president, I will get the judges to make abortion illegal. I guarantee it. But let's be honest. That means women will go to Mexico to get fetuses removed from their whatevers. We need those jobs. So here's my compromise, people. We only make abortion available in economically depressed places like Atlantic City. I will create legal abortion zones that will transform our urban infested cities into incredible four-star abortion destinations. You can make a weekend out of it. It'll be great for tourism. Every abortion package will come with 25 chips and a free shake at Johnny Rockets. Wait, it gets better. The more economically depressed the city is, the further along the abortion will be allowed. Detroit, third term. Newark, one month old. It's another win-win, people. I mean, are we going to have fun when I'm president, or what? Um, what about the idea of, like, you know, the more depressed it is, the more um, the term, you know, how long, you, how late you can get an abortion. So I that was. The term should stay the same. Yes, I agree with all that. About. It should stay the same. Amen. What about the idea of having it be in places that are more economically depressed? I mean, is that where the problem that makes is? Sense. Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. make it more available there? Why does that make sense, Karen? What do you like about that? Because well, in the more economically depressed areas, is the higher chances of the people that are going to be doing that. Right. Mm -hmm. yes. So putting it in those places makes sense to you guys. Yes. 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 And then, okay. What, what about the idea though, I mean, this is a serious subject. I can just tell from talking about it, but you know, making it like a more fun experience, not making it so, so sad and I negative and making it more can you, positive. Can you pay the, can you pay the abnormal portion? It's like, Instead of, okay, I'm gonna get pregnant every year, give me some money, you know? Right. I think there should be a cap on it. They should only be able to. I mean, so, if how much is that? It, how much do you think that cap should be? Is well, I think they should only be able to do it once for the chips. <laughs> and then they can get it and get pregnant just to come and get the chips. Supposedly, like someone's calling here, so hang on one second. <laughs> Hello? Hello, everybody. Hello. 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 You did a tremendous job today. I, I thank you, sir. I wanted to call and thank you all personally. Just tremendous. I value your opinions, even the ones that are way, way off base. <laughs> God bless you all, and God bless America. Thank you, Donald Trump. <laughs> Don't keep going, Donald. You're you rock, buddy. Even the heavy guy. What's your name? Brian Dougherty. <laughs> Maybe you should focus a little less on cheesecake. <laughs> God bless you, Donald. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, Thank, thanks for calling, bye, sir. Thank you. Thank wow. you. Good luck. So that was pretty amazing. That's, pretty exciting. that's crazy. Uh -huh. So, no. oh my God. Sorry about the cheese. No, but that's so cool. That's completely down to earth. I mean, that, that's awesome. So listen up here, guys. This was great. Very Appreciate cool. it. We're really sorry that we ran over and all that. But um, we wanted to give you one last chance. If anyone was interested in, in recording some testimonials, we're interested in getting um, you on camera for doing that. How about you, Donna? Mm. Interested? Yeah, why not? All right. Donald Trump's plan to lock Mexicans in porta potties sounds like solid, fresh thinking to me. <laughs> if Hillary Clinton can't tell us the truth about Benghazi, why should we expect her to tell the truth about her genitals? We live in dangerous times. When we spot a potential terrorist, every second counts. I like Mr. Trump's idea for shortening 911 to 9. <laughs> if Zika virus on the march, I like Mr. Trump's idea of building a wall thick enough so people can't break through and tall enough so mosquitoes can't fly over. I agree with Donald Trump. The only way to compete with the Chinese is to lower their IQ by injecting their water with various paints and solvents.
Watch my summer election special, now streaming only on Hulu.